So welcome, welcome to first conditional statement in C language that is called as if else statement. If else statement. So if else or if statement is a conditional statement. The general syntax or the more primitive form of this uh, one is if expression statement. That means if the value of this expression is true, then the statement is executed. If the value of this expression is false, this statement is not executed. This statement can be a simple statement or compound statement. Simple statement means one single statement. Compound statement means a group of statements enclosed in the flower brackets. One point to be remembered is in C language, anything other than zero is considered as true. That means, if you write say if one, that is true, that is taken as true. Anything other than zero, anything other than zero is considered as true considered as true. So that is the primitive form if expression statement. Next expansion of it if expression statement 1 otherwise statement 2 else statement 2. That means if the value of this expression is true then execute the statement 1. If the value of the expression is false, false that means else you execute statement 2. That means if, if the expression is true, the statement 1 is executed. If the expression is false, the statement 2 is, is executed. Statement 2 is executed. After executing these statements, again control goes to this point. What are the statement you write here at this point? They will be executed. The nesting of if else statements. You can nest the if else statements also. You can go to any level actually. So here you can see if expression 1, if expression 2, S1, else S2. That means here you can see this one is nested within this one. This one is nested within this one. That means if expression 1 is true, if expression 1 is true, then if expression 2 is true, this one is executed. Statement 1 is executed. That means this for, for statement 1 to be executed, S1 to be executed, this one should be true and also this expression should be true. Otherwise, you will go to else but there is little confusion here okay so you have else here whether this else is associated with this one or with this one we have seen one uh, the general form of if else statement if expression one statement one else expression two statement two now here you have only one else but you have two ifs whether this one is this else is is combined with this one or this one the general rule that is followed is the general rule that is followed is the else statement is associated with the nearest if else statement is associated with the nearest if unless you use flower brackets and then separate so if you don't use any brackets then this the else part is associated with the nearest if so this is the ambiguity this is the ambiguity so that ambiguity is sometimes called as dangling else problem dangling else problem dangling else problem the solution for the dangling else is the else is associated with the nearest if again the expansion of it so you can expand it you can expand uh, expand it that means you can go to up any levels you can have number of levels that means we have seen one only one example if expression one is true statement one is executed else statement two executed so if you want to check multiple conditions then what you have to do so you can write like this if expression one is true statement 1 is executed else if statement if expression 2 is true statement 2 executed else if expression 3 is true then s3 is executed else if expression 4 is true then s4 is executed if all these are false then statement s5 is executed statement s5 is executed so point to be noted here is if expression 1 is true if S1 is executed, if S1 is executed, after executing, the remaining conditions are not verified. So control goes to this point, control goes to this point, statement after the else statement. Similarly, if expression 2 is true, then S2 is executed, the remaining conditions are not verified. Control goes to this point, control goes to that point. This is one example. If A equal to 1, then this statement is executed. Else if A equal to 2, then this statement is executed else if a equal to 3 this statement is executed else this statement is executed 
So that means a if a equal to 1, then first statement is printed. If a equal to 2, then second statement is printed. If a equal to 3, then third statement is executed. If a is not equal to 1 or not equal to 2 or not equal to 3, then otherwise statement is executed. So we already discussed the dangling else problem. So the ambiguity here. So the solution is the else part is associated with the nearest if. Nearest if. The ambiguity related to to which if the else is associated with. To which if the else is associated with. Uh, associated with which if the else is associated with. So that is called as dangling else problem. And the solution is the else part is associated with the nearest if. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining.